Minister for International Development, Deputy High Commissioner, Honorary Consul in Scotland, Professor Briggs, our host, Chairs of the Scotland-Malawi Partnership, the Malawi-Scotland Partnership, the Association of Malawians in Scotland, MASP CEO friends, all protocol observed. Everybody online and in the room is equally welcome. Thank you very much to the University of, of Glasgow, uh, Professor Briggs, uh, Mary Ryan in particular, for hosting us today. In March, over 100 young people gathered together in the Scotland-Malawi Partnership Youth Festival to celebrate their understanding and experience of global citizenship. Meaningful, equitable, two-way interactions between our young people have a profound impact on perspectives, on attitudes, and for some life choices. And I think we've uh, a role as perhaps not so young people in encouraging and preparing and stimulating uh, the asking of questions uh, amongst young people towards achieving respectful, dignified, two-way learning opportunities. Our theme today is friendship and global citizenship. And sadly, we just need to listen to the news from Malawi, from Scotland, from Ukraine, from the Middle East, to know that global citizenship is more important today than ever. But let's take heart from the civic society effort between Scotland and Malawi, which is inspiring and is uplifting with friendship at its core, benefiting both nations. In the SNP, we've sought to listen to feedback from previous years of events such as uh, this. And today there's more time for interacting, to reconnect with old friends and to make new contacts in the past year, 37 Scotland-Malawi Partnership and Partnered Events were attended by around 2,500 people in Scotland and Malawi, with 96% saying that coming together strengthened their Scotland-Malawi link, and that's really what we're about as a facilitating network. The less I speak, the more time there is to listen and discuss. So please just let me express my great thanks to my colleagues and the staff and the board uh, of the Scotland-Malawi Partnership and the Malawi-Scotland Partnership for their great efforts to the Scottish Government for uh, funding us uh, and to you inspiring members between Scotland and Malawi. I look forward to speaking uh, more with you uh, later today and I wish everybody a, a really stimulating, encouraging and positive day. But to start us off, we have a letter from His Excellency President Chiquera which is going to be read by Her Excellency, the Deputy High Commissioner, Honourable Justice Agnes Potemba.